Looney Farm guy here, and this is the Flat Rack Containers by Hispano and 82 Studio on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on Rock Crawl to test this out as best I can. Anyways, there is a feature that I have not been able to figure out yet. Um, but anyways, we will carry on. Uh, this is 45.92 megabytes to download. Their um, slot counts are... I have a number of them, but uh, we're looking at one slot. Yeah, looks like about one slot each, so very reasonable. Uh, oh, 13 and 14 slots. Pardon me, 13 and 14 slots. That's probably... the 20-foot one is probably around that somewhere. Right, so where do we find them? We're going to find them under tools and miscellaneous, and we have three. We have the 20 and 25 foot, the 30 and 35, and 40 and 45. We're going to be concentrating on the 20 foot version of this because they all do the same thing. It's just different capacities, up to 240,000 liter capacity with the largest one. So, 12, so 12,140 for the 20 to 25 foot. 21 to 180 for the 30 35 and the 30 to 240 with the 40 45 so what do they hold pallets every pallet you can imagine as a matter of fact a very extensive list of pallets depending on what mods you have downloaded if you have the platinum dlc they will accept those matter of fact there is a very extensive and inclusive and exhaustive list of what pallets this will carry or can or will be able to auto it is auto load by the way one of the features um right on the description so take check out the disc mod description it will list all of them there now without any further delay let's take a look at the configurations 20 foot 20 foot auto load that's auto load at 12,000 liter capacity of all pallets 20 foot auto load unreal that's the 100,000 liter for the 20 foot we have the wood extension which is just puts those wood little sides on there it is not auto load wood not on console anyways 20 foot high cube which is just a regular not auto load and then we have the 20 foot high cube auto load at 18,000 liters and the 20 foot high cube auto load unreal at 120 and then we have the wood extension and then the 25 so 25 foot auto load unreal auto load at 1820 at the unreal wood extension high cube high cube auto load uh, 140 so that's your 140,000 maximum I believe yeah that's as big as we're good you're gonna get so we're actually fooling around with or testing the uh, unreal a uh, 20 foot auto load unreal capacity just to simplify things we have decal settings lizard farming simulator 22 or none if you pick the lizard uh, there are some color options main color we have all the colors even uh, Challenger Chrome, uh, some John Deere Yellow, uh, let's see, a Red Chrome, and then a bunch of custom colors. No dollars up there. Let's see here. No dollars to change the color there. No dollars to change the color there or even there. So pick whatever color you like. It will not cost you anything extra. Decal, 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 decal. I say decal. Decal colors, again, whatever color you like. Those change all of them. No dollars there. And reflective color, we have a small choice. Let's make it uh, green. And I have yet to find those. Uh, let's make it red. Yellow. Hmm. Yeah. So, right. Uh, perhaps it's, uh, hold on, maybe it's, uh, oh, there we go. 
it's for the wood there we go right it's for the uh, wood extension sides the, there's a reflective uh, stickers on there that's what that's for all right <clears throat> so how do you use them well there are a couple of mods that are recommended this trailer is by also by hispano and that is the tipping container trailer pack by hispano and those will work perfectly for these however any low loader or trailer that has straps will work um you just need to strap them down but this trailer actually it locks in it is made specifically for this series of containers also i highly recommend and as the record the recommended by the modder this this is the Liebherr sc350t um also that is by uh, by Kenny four five six. Uh, this is the only way I handle these containers, and we will show you all of that in a moment. Um, so, what do we got here? Well, I got a couple of the larger sizes. Let's just kind of get rid of those because it's just confusing. And as a matter of fact, if you're going to use these. I would recommend going with the same size altogether for your entire map on your map reason being you can go with the high top as long as you stick with the 20 or the 25 the 30 35 whatever size you pick um, go with all of them that size because you can use then you won't you're not going to have a problem with different size trailers hooking up different size trying to match up everything so everything matches up you can mix and match you can use the trailer the trailer will work uh with all of your containers if you use the same size because if you go over to the trailers and the trailers also have size 20 25 30 35 40 45 so if you're going with the 20 foot one you want the 20 foot truck or 20 foot um tractor um, configuration and then it will work with all of them so that's just kind of a side tip right so how does it operate well we have one actually mounted already we will show you kind of backwards i guess kind of um the auto loading part so it's already attached l1 and we have an option to stop the auto load so if we press that and now it says auto load pallet start it should not auto load anything and it does not and of course it will auto load whilst on a trailer of course now we go l1 and x and now there we go we have activated the auto load so you can turn it on and off which is actually very neat idea I do like that because of a certain glitch or trick with uh, well I could say trick a certain feature of auto load um, trailers and such is that if you don't have enough on there and you happen to pass by something else it will delete whatever you have on there and start loading this other product so having the ability to turn it on and off and secure your load that way is very nice so as you can see here we have this one is configured to the unreal capacity and before i fill them all up i do have another example over here let's just turn that off for a moment uh, we have one on the ground here this one is one i purchased it is uh, set to auto load and i have some uh let's see here uh, field info's on uh, flower in there i have liftable pallets it will also load liftable pallets as you can see here as i come close it's loading them on to this trailer the trailer does not have or this container does not have to be on a trailer in order to auto load however 
in order to switch it, the auto load on and off, um, you do have to connect or put it onto a trailer. Now, the other thing with this is it attaches to the trailer. If you have it on a trailer that only straps it down, uh, you won't be able to um, activate or deactivate that auto load. So that's kind of another feature why these uh, using these the um, tipper trailer by the same motor by Hispano is a, a, a good thing. So how do you get them on and off? Let's let's do that now. Let's turn off this and actually um, turn it on because we need to uh, detach. So we have detached it. You can attach it. Once it's sitting on there, it's attaching or detaching by pressing X. See, lizard 20 foot attached. Now it's attached. Now we can go into it, right? And pallets, auto pallets. That's the only thing. I can't figure out how to fold the ends down. I don't know if anyone knows how to do that. Uh, please leave it in the comments. I haven't been able to figure that out yet. Uh, you can manually unload. However, we will show you another way to unload it. But let's detach it. There we go. Now we'll hop into our Liebherr. And what's really super nice about this is uh, it will work for any size because the size, uh, you can adjust the size um, that it will pick up very easily. You don't have to, it's, it's about the easiest thing I have ever used to pick uh, handle these containers. And we'll just back over it. I do have a, uh, a a video on this particular piece of machinery to explain all the workings of it. And we just have to lower it down and it's very generous there with the attachment. We pick it up. Whether it's full or not full, very easy to move around and just lower it down and you can place it down anywhere you like and even um, even stack them now I've made a bit of a mess over here with these others but I will show you if I can oh hold on let's I've made a bit of a mess here there we go Oh, and you can, oh, light, look at that. It can, I can overload. I can transfer from one to the other. I didn't even realize that. So let's drop that there. And I do believe it has locked in. And you can stack up to three or four, I think, depending on the height. Uh, the, the height of the uh, unit, if you got the high top or not. But there you go, you can stack them together like so. And that is actually super duper handy. Now, let's go ahead and uh, load this other one on here. Let's get, oh, I have made a bit of a, a mess here. Let's move this ahead. We're going to load the other one and we're going to show you a little bit of a, a little bit of a trick. Um... If you have a sell point, so say you have a flower factory or whatever kind of factory that you have picked up these. Uh, whoops. Oh, I guess it's not locked in there because it fell off. But let's pick this one up and uh, put it on. Uh, let's lift it up high enough. We're going to drive. We can, you can um, change the view of this as well, or even here, but I prefer this. Let's get it over the trailer here and put this one on there. Lower, 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 lower. Release. And get that out of the way. Back up carefully. Right. And now that it's on there, at least fairly close, you can press your X and it will attach. And there we go. So 
this being also auto load you can stop the auto load or start it once it has been attached if you if it is not attached you don't have the option uh, that option because it's not attached once it's attached to the trailer you have control of it now we can go over a sell point with this and there we go see start overloading we can directly sell into the sell point and bam it is gone I do believe if we go over here we should be able to load can we load from oh, I seen the load uh, the load trigger uh, when we had it on the crane that was interesting right so you may or may not be able to load from another trailer that is could be a bit tricky now as for folding down the ends I have still not um, there's a picture of the ends folding down as in these ends being folded down however I don't know if that's a PC thing or not because I have not seen any kind of configuration or option to do that on console I'm on PS5 here so I do believe that is the short and sweet of it um, right and just obviously a small sample with the flower but any kind of pallets will auto load here and as you know we can auto load it there you go so hopefully that um, shows enough of what this is all about that's the flat rack containers by Hispano and 82 studio on farming simulator 22 thank you all for watching I'm Looney Farm Guy and remember it's only a game so till next time bye for now